some other stories now and human rights groups are concerned about the well-being of 21 LGBT plus activists acquitted by a whole high court after at least two months of being held in custody. Former country director of Amnesty International, Robert Akuto Amafo, says the acquittal of a 21 shows they were unlawfully arrested and subjected to torture. His comments come on the back of a decision of a court presided over by Justice Felix Dachomo, which struck out the case. The 21 who were summarily acquitted and discharged were arrested on May 20 while attending a conference in Ho and were subsequently arraigned, charged with unlawful assembly. After several failed attempts to secure bail for them, they were finally granted bail on June 11. Now, a senior state attorney noted there was insufficient evidence to substantiate the charge and had accordingly advised that the case be struck out and the accused persons be discharged. Lead counsel for the accused, Julia Ayete, described the decision as welcome, adding it better came later than never. So joining me via Zoom is Robert Akutua Mwafo, a former Amnesty International Country Director. He has been one of the activists who had been championing the release of these 21 individuals. He joins me on Zoom. Robert, I know you had you know, called for the release of these 21 individuals and you had said from the get-go that this was a no case. How do you react to what's been happening in the whole court now? Thank you very much. First of all, to say that, um, as we have discussed earlier, this was no case. Also, the fact that I'm not surprised that this is the outcome, um, because, of course, if you look at the elements of the law for unlawful arrest, all that the police stated were false, and there were things that they were trying to say um, to, to ignite passions which were unnecessary and uncalled for if you look at the um the press statement they brought out and um, they made certain allegations which i believe that even if these 21 wants to hold them to it they can go to court and sue the state and um, for wrongful um, identification and all of that so for me my first reaction is that um one it is was uncalled for it was unnecessary they've wasted time and i think that the police need to be more diligent in the next time when they are doing such things going forward what happens so they've been acquitted and discharged so what end of the matter not at all i mean i think that um if these people like i've mentioned one i think uh you, our zoom connection to robert is uh, acting up uh, let's try and see if robert can reconnect with us so we can have a clear connection to him on this particular matter robert well, Robert's um, Zoom connection is not uh, helping us this afternoon, but he was just making the point, reacting to the decision by the whole high court to acquit and discharge the 21 LGBTQ plus activists who were arrested in May this year. They have since been discharged. He says the well-being of a 21 is of concern to him and other rights groups. Now, 